Can an agency that's engaged in informal rulemaking have private conversations with interested parties? Or does doing so invalidate the agency's actions? We explore those questions in Action for Children's Television versus Federal Communications Commission. Action for Children's Television, or ACT, submitted several proposals to improve children's television programming to the Federal Communications Commission. Among other things, it pressed the Commission to eliminate advertising during children's programs. The Commission treated ACT's submissions as a petition for rulemaking and requested public comment. It later issued a formal notice of inquiry and notice of proposed rulemaking and sought further public comment. The response to the Commission's formal notice was extensive. Although the public largely supported the proposal, members of the broadcast and advertising industries opposed it. They argued that self-regulation was the only proper method to address ACT's concerns. The Commission held three days of panel discussions and three days of oral argument at which interested parties could voice their support for or opposition to the proposal. The Commission's chairman then met privately with members of the National Association of Broadcasters, or NAB. Following that ex parte meeting, NAB revised its code to place limits on advertising during children's programs. Another industry organization subsequently adopted similar standards. The Commission then issued a report and policy statement in which it declined to adopt any of the rules urged by ACT. With respect to advertising, the report explained that the Commission was encouraged by the industry's attempts at self-regulation. The Commission also cautioned that it intended to monitor the situation closely and that it might enact rules in the future if necessary. The Commission denied ACT's petition for reconsideration. ACT filed a petition for review in the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit. It asked the court to compel the Commission to enact its proposed rules. Among other things, ACT argued that the Commission's failure to solicit public comments on NAB's ex parte proposal of self-regulation was an abuse of the administrative process.